Two? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Please leave your. I'll give him one. I'll give it a shot as well. All right. Let me know when you have it pulled up on your phone. I got it. All right. So. All right, you have it up on your phone. Mm-hmm. All right, hello everybody. Welcome hit back for season two of the FTHL. Now, unfortunately, Mike Oxlong is nowhere to be seen just yet, and also. I can't do the commentary the same way that I used to, but I still have my guest MXR here to watch FDHL Season 2's opener with me. Are you ready? Yes, I am, the Norse. Alright, before we even get into the game, let's take a look at some of the new logos for the new teams and rosters for the New York Americans and the Quebec Nordiques. So, as you can see, Atlanta's rebranding to the Atlanta Flames. They even have an alternate. Then you have Hamilton. Hamilton is a uh, new team in the Eastern Conference. They do not have a secondary uniform like any of the new teams. That's why I mentioned Atlanta having a secondary. The next new team is the Montreal Wanderers. They are another team in the Eastern Conference. Or they are the other team in the Eastern Conference. It'll be interesting to watch those two play, especially with their in-nation rival, the Quebec Nordiques. But before we go into the rosters, let's I have to show you the Seattle or San Diego Mariners and Saint or Seattle. Oh my god, I'm already messing up. <laughs> San Diego Mariners and the Seattle Metropolitans. Obviously based off of former teams in the Oh god, WHA and I don't even remember the name of the league for that Seattle was in, but they won a Stanley Cup, so get off my back. All right, let's get a look into these new t into the teams, starting with New York's forward line. As the same thing for last year, the starting of three are Pavel Bushnevich, Jack Eichel, and Matthew Barzel. A killer front line that ended up winning them the Eastern Conference and had the Quebec Nordiques go through them to get to the Stanley Final. On the second line, we have Chris Kreider, Ryan Strom, and Capo Ka Kako. Try to say that three times fast. I dare you, and I already know it's Finnish. Hmm. All right, going on to the third line, we have Brennan Lemieux, Philip Ch Cheadle, Brett Howden, or Hoden. I've never been with that good with that name. Don't even try to get me to say it three times. Uh, Colin Blackwell, Kevin Rooney, and Julian Gaither, a powerful front line to keep a tra keep on your eyes with tonight. Going over to the defensive line, you have Joel Rose playing left defenseman and Max Zello playing right defenseman, coming over from the FTHL and the er, the NHL with the All Star Game, both previously playing for one playing for the. Previously, as a part of the New Jersey Devils being Yoel Rose, and the other playing previously with the New York Rangers being Max Zello. These two will certainly be an interesting match or pair to fight against, but let's go to the second line of defensemen, where it's Jack Johnson and Jacob Truba. And then your final line, then your third and final line of defensemen is Ryan Lingard, or Lingreen. And Adam Fox. Adam Fox recently won an award for being the best defenseman in the NHL back in 2021. But that's neither here nor there. Let's take a look at your starting goalie. Semyon Vladimirov. A force to be reckoned with with the Islanders. A force to be reckoned with last year in the FDHL. Great goalie from the New York Rangers. Surely to put up a great game tonight for the New York Americans against the Quebec Nordiques. What are your thoughts on the two new additions that the New York Americans have bought in this year? Uh, the two new additions, I think, might be put up a formidable... Um, might be uh, formidable on the new team. 
and then the team they go up against, but who knows? They might do amazing, or they might do atrocious. We will find out on the field. Yes, we'll find out once puck drops at center ice. But let's take a look at the Quebec Nordiques line. Of course, you have the Quebec, Nord Quebec Nordiques with yet another iconic line. Matthew Tolchuk, Felix Ortega Jr., and Donald Buswell. A powerful line to go up against to start up a game. Uh, I We saw this, team, uh, this line score a ton of goals in the playoffs, and ultimately it's what got them past the New York Americans with how many goals they scored. If I remember correctly, they scored more than five over the course of the New York Americans Quebec Nordiques five game series or three game series so quite a line to go up against. On the second line you have Brady Tolchuk, Alexander Kerfoot, and Connor Brown. On the third line you have Zach Hyman, Alex Galchenyuk, Yoel Armia, and then on your final fourth line for the or for the Quebec Nordiques offense, it's Ilya Mikiev, Jordan Veal, and Arturi Lekkinen. Not exactly the best lines, but it's what got them there last year because they did not perform a lot of change, and I didn't even get to view the defenseman. But next is your starting defenseman for this team. Thomas Shabbat and Morgan Riley take the two starting defenseman spots. These two were great for this team last year. Can they keep it up? We'll find out. Jake Muzzin and Nikita Zetsev. Zetsev. Oh my god, I'm butchering these names and I'm learning Russian, so that's, even, that's just a crime. Anyway, these two are another great lineup, and then we have Travis Derma and Justin Hole in for the third and final Quebec Nordiques defensive line. And starting in goal is not Freddie Anderson, it's actually Dominic Patel tonight for the Quebec Nordiques. He played in the NHL versus FTH All-Tel All-Star game, had a nine point, uh, had a point, had a 93.8 save percentage during his season in the NHL. So a lot to live up to. The reason why he said that he came over to the uh, FTHL was because of his friend Donald Boswell on the Quebec Nordiques, who ended up scoring on him more than any other player in the FTHL versus NHL All-Star game. That has been a look at your starting lineups. Let's get ready to play this game. You guys already know these two teams have a lot of history against each other, and in the new 60-game format for this upcoming season, there is going to be a six. There, these two teams are going to play each other six times. It's sure to be something interesting. But let's get ready to pick our winners in this one. So MXR, who do you have winning this game? Oh no, I think in the New Yorkers might be able to do it. Might be able to take it as home this, to this match. Well, they did sweep the regular season series last year. Can I get a score prediction over three periods? Hmm, let's see. Uh, I think it would be a close game. Maybe 4-3 at most, maybe. Alright. I'm going to go with the Quebec Nordiques. The Quebec Nordiques had a strong finish to last year, even though they lost the final game of the regular season to the New York Americans. In the playoffs, they showed the New York Americans of what they're made of. But the New York Americans have had a lot more moves than the Quebec Nordiques. So I will also predict a close game. I'm going to predict a 3-2 game in overtime. Alright. So, let's get ready for the FTHL season to start. So, MXR is, host, is being the commentator for the first time. And also this year, we're actually going to do stat tracking, kept up by, well, me, because why not? Because you are the best in the business for now. But here we go. Here we are at the Vitatron Center in Quebec City, Quebec, as we get ready for game number one on the season. 
Dominic Patel wearing number 62 in net for the Quebec Nordiques. And then on the other side, Semyon Vladimirov wearing number 40 as always. Two great young goalies in this league. Getting ready as we get ready for face-off here between Ortega Jr. and Jack Eichel. Face-off. Won by the Americans. It was a stuck at center ice, but the Americans got it. Oh, and the Americans are already on the board. Butch Navich gets it past uh, Dominic Patel. Well. A quick score right off the kickoff. Or, well, well, that's a face-off, but yeah. <laughs> my bad. Right off the face-off. Very powerful push. Or... Yeah, no, that's right. It, it was a great push. The uh, Brooklyn Americans start off strong, winning the face-off, getting the first points, and already silencing this crowd here 26 seconds into this game. But now here come the Quebec Nordiques, and this is not something that you want to see coming flying around the boards. Max Zello intercepts the puck, but Matthew Tuchuk breaks it, takes it back. Shabbat over to Riley. Riley up in front of the net, gets it taken away from him. Now we have Rose breaking out of the zone, passing over to Jack Eichel. Eichel gets hit by Shabbat. The New York Americans trying to respond fast. They know that this Quebec Nordiques team does not stay down for very long. Uh, how do you think Dominic Patel is already adjusting to the league? He doesn't appear to be doing too well, if you ask me. Hello? An XR. How do you feel uh, uh, Dominic Patel is adjusting to the league as it doesn't appear that he had a very good start to begin with? Well, the start wasn't the best, but we will. He might be be able to pick it up throughout the game. We still haven't seen him shine, though, so you know, we still have plenty of time to see. There is a pretty good save by him on the replay. Of course, you're a little, you're behind by like eight seconds, so you'll probably be seeing it about now. But face off, won by the New York Americans in the New York American zone. They're gonna move up ice. It's passed over to Kako. Kako, he's gonna go up Creeter intercepted by the New the Quebec Nordiques as they go for a pass right up in front of the net. Alright, Brady Tolchuk. He's surrounded. He's looking for somewhere to go. It's going to be taken away on an intercepted pass by the New York Americans. Creeder is going to go. Oh! The New York America or the Quebec Nordiques steal it. They're going to lose it along the boards though and it's going to be taken over by the New York Americans. Strom is on a break with Kako. Kako going to go and try going for the centering pass but he can't get it. The Quebec Nordiques now trying to break out of their own zone. Oh, a big hit laid out along the boards there. My golly. Here we go. How? Oh, ho it's a goal. And the New York Americans are on top. 2-0 to zero already. Bre the offense is looking really well for the first half of this game or well the first half of this period yeah look it's been all New York Americans the Quebec Nordiques have been not haven't been getting shots off very well Dominic Patel might have some nerves coming into this game the FTH he's moving to a whole new league he's playing in a whole new city for the first time in his career as he only played in Philadelphia and uh, the Charlotte uh, minor league system before this so but Galchenyuk and Armia going up in front of the net. Armia looks for somebody. He finds Holes. Pass. Shoots it. It goes off the post. Armia passes over to Hole. And another shot. This time by, I believe that was Galchenyuk, is saved. And now the Americans are back on offense. Puck's poked away. Ch Cheadle can't get it. And the New York Americans are on the board for a third time with Lemieux in this one. New York Americans are doing amazing as we see. Not one, not twice, but three times already has scored. Britain Lemieux this time gets the goal. My golly, the Quebec Nordiques have got to find a response in this game. They have done nothing to take to challenge the New York Americans in this one. Uh but that's also not what you want to do when facing Ortega. Or Felix Ortega Jr. He's kind of known for getting, the, letting his emotions get the best out of him. So 
I don't know what's going to happen here between these two teams. Shot on goal. It's oh another great shot saved by Vladimirov. Lekinen looking for somewhere to go. Shot scored! And the Quebec Nordiques are now on the board in this one. It looks like the, the New York Americans were struggling to get the ball out of their half of the field. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to seem rude. I've just never heard it called a ball. Sorry. <laughs> it's a puck. <laughs> I'm so used to commentating in soccer that I'm mixing up sports now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Veal gets a great shot there. And we're going to have another face-off. The Quebec Nordiques now back down by two. They win off the face-off here. We're going to get puck moving. Matthew Tolchek over to Buzzwell. Buzzwell shoots. It goes off the post and beats the goalie just can't get to the back of the net oh Riley skates too far back and that's gonna be an offside so we're gonna go back behind the blue line for the faceoff Riley you're gonna see here he lays down a huge hit on Rose of all people Yoel Rose more known as a grinder type defenseman somebody who's gonna get up against you in the boards Anyway, New York Americans win the face-off, and they're going to start moving the puck immediately with their top line. Buchnevich stopped by Patel, who took a hit and made it look easy. Thomas Shabbat lays out. I believe that was... Yeah, that's number 13. My bad. That would be Barzol. Face-off in the Nordic zone. by One by the Nordiques. The Nordics have to keep winning these face-off games. That's what's going to keep them in this game. So, oh, poked away, and here come the Americans. Puck. Looking for somewhere to go. Buchnevich can't find anything. He's going to pass it up in front of the net, and Patel makes the save, showing what he's made of in this league already. Off to a shaky start, but he appears to have found himself. What do you think of that? Uh, what do you think of his performance since the 11 minute mark in this game so far he's been proving he's been trying to show why he's able to compete with the best of the best I'll agree with you there well the Quebec Nordiques are breaking out of the defensive zone have crossed the blue line and now they are on the attack shot saved by Vladimirov there's a pin up against the boards the Americans come away with it still The Americans looking for somewhere to go. They're going to pass it out right in front of the net, but they're not going to get it in, luckily. You never want to score on yourselves. The Quebec Nordiques have changed their complete alignment in this game since the first since the first three goals, and it looks like they're actually trying to play hockey now. But they still find a way to beat Patel. The Americans have scored four times in the first period. What do you think of this shot by Philip Philip Chell or Cheadle? Uh, so far, I think it was a pretty good shot, really getting in the deep Americans. I mean Quebec Nordiques. Sorry. <laughs> you're fine. I get you that you're new to this. But anyway, so the New York Americans are back up by three as it's a four to one game here. They're gonna win the face off. Patel started looking really strong, and now we're in a bit of a situation where it's starting to look not so much. Shot on goal, misses over the net. Alexander Kerfoot, he's going to pass over to Riley. Riley's going to pass over to Brown. Brown over to Brady Tolchuk. Poked away, and Kako has it now. He's getting uh, harassed by his defenseman. A big hit laid out by Brady Tolchuk. Another big hit laid out by an American this time. I didn't catch the name. Brady has it in front of the net. He shoots twice. Doesn't beat the keeper or the goalie any time. Now I'm talking soccer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Strom has it. Shot on net. Taken away by a, can, a Nordiques defenseman. We're here in the last minute of the first period. Going for the centering pass. Shot saved by Vladimirov. And they're going to freeze the puck with 18 seconds left here in the first period. 
the Nordiques do not look like the FTHL Season 2, well, the FTHL champions they were. These Ooh. two teams are off to a interesting start. Face off won by the Americans. Zello has it. It looks like he's just going to try burning off the rest of the period. Oh, the Americans have a shot. And they beat him again. Two seconds left in the period. Zello wasn't trying to burn off the rest of the period. He was trying to find a scoring opportunity for Colin Blackwell. An amazing Deep. shot from Colin Blackwell making it in. Indeed it is. Well, we're gonna see Dominic Patel probably get pulled from the game. He barely beats the pad of the goalie. Great shot by Colin Blackwell. The, can the defensemen just aren't doing it. I wouldn't be surprised if I see if we see Dominic Patel get pulled in between periods here. But face-off is won by the Nordiques, and that's all she wrote for the first period. The score after one, four, one. A rough start for the Quebec Nordiques. A great start for the New York Americans in season two. The Americans showing why they controlled the regular season here on the road to begin the season with the Quebec Nordiques. We'll catch you guys in the second period, which will be like right after I record stats. In the meantime, we're going to talk a little bit about the period. So, so, the first period had a lot of scoring. What do you think ha What happened there? The, Qu the Quebec were not ready for the New York Americans to put on so much offense in the beginning of the first period. And yeah, they were I... Completely off guard. Yeah, I completely tend to agree with you there. I mean, the, if you, I have the score sheet pulled up right now. We can see that the New York Americans have scored four, five goals in the first period. The first three of them were within the first ten minutes of the period. They are completely dominating the Quebec Nordiques here, and it's going to be a very hard start for the Quebec Nordiques as they look like they're going to lose this one. But, but we will f doesn't mean they're out completely. They could make a comeback in the second period. I will agree with you there. These two teams have a very r rough history when playing each other. The last season of the FTHL, the half season of the FTHL, we've seen them go up against each other and not care. Uh, these two teams, we've seen the Quebec Nordiques actually crawl out of a hole like this before. If you remember, they crawled out of a 5... They crawled out of a 5-1 game, scored 6 unanswered goals before the Colorado Rockies responded. And then... The, um... Who do you call it? Then they scored another few goals. But it's amazing to see how teams can try to crawl out of holes here. It's but just hard to come back. Mm -hmm. Especially with the performance with uh, the New York Americans giving it, showing the first period. They might keep up this offense in the second period. I will 100% agree with you there. These two teams have or this, this New York team has come out showing why they want to win the Eastern Conference this year. They've, they won the Eastern Conference last year. They proved themselves very powerful. And, well, they, they are just killing it. Now, I want to talk about Braden Lemieux. He scored a goal and he has two assists after the first period. He's obviously a key contributor to the New York Americans line and how they're performing. If you're the Quebec Nordiques, how do you stop him? Well, you're gonna have to have 
incredible defense because these guys will not stop at nothing to get these goals as has been shown or just have just try to start with your offense strong strong offense if you ask me the Quebec Nordiques need to start playing the way that they did uh, when they shut down the New York Americans it's gonna be very hard for them to do uh, but it's what they did to show I mean they completely shut out the New York Americans in the playoffs so it's just they gotta do that if they wanna have a shot at coming back in this game if you're the New York Americans I think that you put Braden Lemieux out there more today <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I would be doing if I were the uh, Americans. He's obviously found uh, something that he can work with, and it's just going to be a great start. He's having a great start to his season. So, I just realized I'm supposed to record this at the end of the game. <laughs> I've literally been talking about this for like five minutes with you, and I just realized I'm supposed to do this at the end of the game. Well, I'm oh, a genius. Well. All right, we'll get back to the second period now. <laughs> we should have just talked about what we could have instead of me making dry conversation for the last minute and a half. As we get ready for puck drop here in the second period, the New York Americans start off with a win on the clean sheet of ice. Butchnevich. Oh, Eichel down. He's get he's slow to get up. Jack Eichel is going to be going to the locker room. It seems, or that's not Jack Eichel, but it, the hit I think was laid out by Ortega Jr. So we'll have to see. Buswell skating up through the neutral zone. He's right in front of the net. He's dangerous for those shots. Vladimirov makes the save though. Let's see what happens here. I think this will show the injury that happened. Wow, MXR or Max Max Zello is down with an injury. It appears he's still on the bench at least, but he got hit hard by uh, Matthew Talchuk there, or yeah, Matthew Talchuk. The American State wasting no time, not worrying about their injured friend, and that's gonna be a score. The New York Americans have scored a sixth goal, this time off the stick of Capo Caco. Maybe. I don't like the name, it's hard to say, but... <laughs> <laughs> the New York Americans not shutting down the money machine as they keep going Burt in this one. Proving wanting to win this game and the next game, showing their opponents they have what it takes to bring it all the way to the top. I am surprised that the Quebec Nordiques have not pulled Dominic Patel yet. They still think he's still got some fire in him left. But who knows, will he bring the fire out or will that fire go out? Who knows, we'll find out as time goes on. Maybe he'll shut down the New York Americans from here. This game is already almost over. It's a slaughter. Yes it has. But here we go. Let's get ready for the faceoff here. Won by the New York Americans. Alice Kerfoot goes for the puck. The, the uh, Quebec Nordiques, the only way they are going to even remotely come back into this game is if they play physically. But now they have an offensive chance. Ready to chalk chuck. To Connor Brown, it's going to be shot. Backhand shot saved by Vladimirov. You don't go for a, a backhand shot there. You really don't. I don't know why Brown did that. Your ta your team is down by five. You don't go for a sh backhand shot there, but... He's willing to try anything and everything to get more points on to their team. Well, obviously, they're down by five. Vichnevich. Oh, a big hit laid out. Matthew Barzel. Johnston's going for it. He has the pocket saved by Dominic Patel. Five minutes of play done here in the second. A 6-1 score already for this team. So, the New York Americans obviously starting off strong. They gotta carry this momentum. Uh, 
going into they gotta carry this momentum, especially if they're gonna try going back to back winning this division. They have a lot of a tough opponents. Atlantic's gained a lot of strength during the off season. So we'll have to see what gets done. Puck saved by Patel. And we're gonna get a frozen puck. Alright, puck dropped. Quebec Nordiques lose the faceoff in one of the longest faceoffs I've ever seen. The Americans try to drive the puck back all the way, but it ends up going behind their own net. Or they try driving it back to a defenseman, but it goes all the way back behind their own net. Alright. Lemieux. Over to Truba. Truba. Back over to Lemieux. Remember, Lemieux is hot in this one. But Armia looking for somewhere to go. He's going to go in front of the net. Alex Gachenyuk. A great shot opportunity. Oh, another great shot opportunity. Zach Hyman had, a, a, had almost an open side to the net, but he just didn't have the shooting lane. Shabbat over to Matthew Tolchuk. Over to Ortega Jr. Shabbat. Shoot saved. Hit up against the boards by Braden Lemieux. Boswell has it now. Boswell looking for somewhere to go. He finds Brady to, or Matthew Tolchuk. Huge hit laid out against the boards. The New York Americans are going to try staying on the offensive. Matthew Tolchuk over to Boswell. Boswell shoots saved by Vladimirov. The New so. American goalie's not giving up. He's making sure this score stays, or we'll try to do a Brazil, even though this is not soccer. Yes, well, I don't know what we saw there on the bench. I think we just saw two players that were fused together. Anyway, let's get over to the face-off, which is won by the New York Americans in their own zone. Zello appears to have it. He's got to be looking for some blood on uh, Matthew Talchuk. He got laid out. Oh, here we go. Ortega, he has, he had an open lane and doesn't go for the opportunity. He's laid out by Creeter and I don't know who number, who that last guy was, but he was laid out by him. The Quebec Nordiques bring up the second line and they are off sides. Tough luck. Well, here we go, we're going to get a face off. Alexander Kerfoot doesn't win it for the uh, the Nordiques. It's going to be won by the Americans, by Jack Eichel specifically. Bushnevich is poked up. Hole has it now. He's going to pass over to Travis Dermott. Dermott's looking for somewhere to go. He's going to pass it over to Connor Brown. The Nordiques have to make some sort of play here. Passed up in front of the net. Alexander Kerfoot doesn't get the shot off. Poked away from Brown. Zaitsev. Bounces it right off the post. We've seen a lot of shots rattle off the post from this Quebec Nordiques team. They have to find the back of the net if they want to have a shot at winning this. I thought they had too many men for a second, which would have been a penalty. Surprisingly, we haven't seen very many penalties from these two teams with players that are known to play a little, uh, a little, a little dirty, if you say so. Between Matthew Talchuk and Felix Ortega. Oh, the American score. Is that that's Blackwell again? He's got his second of the game. Colin Blackwell manages to beat out Dominic Patel a second time. I think you need to put uh, Dominic Patel away if you're the Quebec Nordiques. You have to sit him, don't you think? Yes, I think we're gonna have to sit him. And... It's clearly not his game. Please, just there we go. They're going to bring out Jake Allen, the backup goalie. A start you don't want to see if you're a Quebec Nordiques fan. But. Well, let's see if our new goalie shall be able to do much more better. Yes, we'll see. Face off, won by Zaitsev. The Nordiques immediately going on a run for a score of Vladimirov saves it. The score, 7-1, to one, 
and the New York Americans have pulled off a Brazil. My goodness, I did not think we were hitting into soccer with the Brazil. I did not either. Veal goes for a shot. It's saved by Vladimir off of his blocker. The Quebec Nordics need to take more shots on that stick side of Vladimirov. While he holds the post a little bit more, it's easier to score on that stick side on Vladimirov. Hyman goes in front of the net and it's poked away. Shot saved by Vladimirov. You can't be going for fancy shots like that when you're down by six in the last minute of the second period. Well, they're trying to do everything to get in, at least in second point. I agree with you there, but they're just not doing it the right way, if you ask me. Anyway, the New York Americans won the faceoff, and they're going to break out the Quebec Nordiques, trying not to make sure that another score at the last second of the period happens. We're going to go into the third period with a 7-1 game. You might as well start looking away. This is not a game anymore. It is a slaughter. Well, the Quebec Nordiques are not doing the best and from previous when we have seen the champions right now. They're not doing the best. They shall be they can do better, but they are not doing the best. They're not showing it. Yes, I totally agree with you here. 7 1 as we go into the second intermission. So, the sky is falling for the Quebec Nordiques, and it proves it in the stat line right there. 17 shots for the Nordiques, 15 for the Americans. Patel has had an absolutely awful first game in the FTHL. I think he's only had a 500 save percentage, which we can go check in the stat line. Right? Mm, yes. Yeah, we can check team stats here. Goalies. Dominic Patel has had a .53 save, or has had a 53 save percentage in this one. Has averaged an 11, <laughs> has a goals against average of 11.3. He's been out there for too long. But he's doing the best he's the got. Very I'll cute. agree with you there at least. The Quebec Nordiques are winning the game on shots. They're winning the game barely on passing. They're mm -hmm. just not as physical as they were, and they're not winning faceoffs like they're really good with. <laughs> and that's what's screwing them over in this game. But. Are you ready for the second period? Yes, sir. I am ready for the next second. Or the third. third last. Yes, this is the third period and should be the last one. Unless the Quebec Nordiques place a huge spoiler in this one, which I don't see happening. Face-off won by the New York Americans. Then the story of this game as they win, have a lead 16-9 to in face-offs. Zello forces the puck away from Matthew Tallchuk and Ortega is going right after him. Buchnevich and Ortega collide there. That's a matchup I'm going to be very excited to see outside of this game. Ortega Jr. versus Zello. The two played each other for two years when they were playing rival clubs in New York. It's going to be an interesting series to watch, or an interesting matchup to watch. They have history. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, the North! There's the captain! Buzzwell scores. Are they going to pull this one away, though, is the question. There could be a call of goalie interference here by Matthew Talchuk. That's going to be goalie interference. This goal, this goal is coming back. Uh, it could be that the goalie interference... Let's ta take a look. Yeah, that's goalie interference 100%. This shot is going to come back. I do not know what that means, sir. Can you please explain So a goalie interference is when a player of the attacking team hits the goalie while a shot is on net. It means uh -huh. that the goalie is unable to make the save properly, so they take back the shot. Ah, uh, okay. 
Unfortunate. Though. The Quebec Nordiques finally got something going, only to have it removed. And that's not how you want to start off the third period when down 7 to 1. <laughs> and now it's 8 1. Oh my goodness. Does it ever end? The Quebecs are going to need a miracle if they want to save this game. It's not. It's not savable. It's a. Fi there's 15 minutes left in the game. This is unsavable. You have to score once every two minutes on average. Well, damn. Might as well cut off my right leg if you want a miracle. <laughs> okay then. Well, the New York Americans have had all the right responses for this Quebec Nordiques line. Face off one by the Nordiques, or by the Americans. They're going right for another uh, shooting opportunity. Allen misses the puck, gets right by him, but it hits off the backboards and right back up to him. He's going to freeze it with 14.57 remaining in the third. Not a great start to the season for the Quebec Nordiques. But Not neither a... here nor there. Muzzin's gonna take it. Hyman. Looking for somewhere to go. Puck intercepted by Johnson. Armia's pinned up against the boards. Jake Muzzin's gonna help him and take the puck out. Yuel Armia's gonna move up the ice. He's looking for somewhere to go with it. Hit up against the boards. Truba has it now. He has open ice. He has one man to beat. Galchenyuk pokes it away, though. Huge hit on Galchenyuk. Drops his stick, and Armia now has a chance. Shot saved by Vladimirov. Vladimirov has been a wall, except for that one goal that he gave up. So do you think the... No what do you think this is? This, this is a statement win right here for the New York Americans. They got blown out. All three games of the playoffs, losing by at least four goals in all three games. The playoffs against the Quebec Nordiques. This is a huge statement win for the New York Americans. Do you think this will have a huge play on the rest of their season? It might, because if they keep bringing the fire for every single game from here on out, they are going to might as well be taking the championship, or at least the Eastern Conference championship. The Quebec Nordiques, of course, off to a terrible start. They've man been managing to avoid penalties, which is the good news. But by the same point, they've been turning over pucks left and right just like that. The New York Americans even starting to get fancy with their play to show how confident they are in this game. Puck poked away, I think, by Zello on Buzzwell. No, that was not Zello. What are they doing? Jake Allen almost messed up there. Almost let it into the back of the net. Neither Nordic's goalie has been on their game exactly. Lane Green. He has to watch out with what he's doing there. You don't want to do that to Ortega. Because we have seen what has Ortega has done when he's spoiled with emotion. Yes, we saw what happened when he did it in game number, I think it was number 7 or 8, against the Hartford Whalers where he broke a player's neck. That's something good. We don't want him to see all the motion not clear. Said player is returning for season 2, and for those who are wondering. The New York Americans trying to find something to do with the puck here. They're going to break out. Barzel. Shot on net, saved by Allen. The Quebec Nordics have taken more control of this game with Jake Allen in the back of the net, but it's too little too late. Hull is going to come off ice. He's injured. He'll probably end up... Oh, he's still on the bench, so there's still a chance that he'll keep playing, but... They'll have to take a further look at him as we get ready for a face-off here in the Quebec Nordic zone. It's going to be won by the Americans. Zello scores his first FTHL points. Beats beats Allen to the uh, beats Allen to the uh, left leg, 
No, right leg. Oh, he went right f into the thigh hole. He was confident with that shot. He so, Zello. He said the action, and he's got it. His first shot ever. His first shot in the league and his first goal. Good for him. He's trying to prove himself already. Trying to prove the doubt that the hater is wrong because he didn't. He would usually get outperformed by Felix Ortega during his reign in the NHL. When those two would play each other, he would usually get outperformed by Felix Ortega. So he's trying to prove that he's the better man now. Odin. The state. The arena is almost empty already. That's how bad this game has gone. Nine to one is the score here. I would not believe my eyes if I wasn't announcing this game. It's over. Three minutes left. Galchenyuk shoots saved by Vladimirov. Come on, give him something here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, New York Americans are going to be going for ten. It is possible with two minutes left. It would be the first ten goal game we've ever seen in the FTHL's history. Well, these uh, New York Americans might be the first. Yeah, and what a way it would be to start off season two. Well, filmed season two anyway. The Nordiques go offside. If you're the Nordiques here, you just gotta score. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. You've got to get something on the board here just to give the fans something to look forward to for next game, and they're proving it by bringing on their top line. Ortega Jr. wins the faceoff. It's going to pass over to Zaitsev. Ortega Jr. looking for Boswell. No, that was Matthew Tolchuk, my bad. The Americans going to finish up this game absolutely slaughtering the Nordiques unless... Ortega get something done here. No, he's not. He's going to be pressed up. Ortega, he's going for a boarding. Here we see Ortega starting to let out that dirty side late into the game, but too late. 30 seconds remain. It's passed over to Truba. Truba over to Strom. Strom over to Buchnevich. Are the, are the Americans going to go for a 10th one? I don't think they're going to get it. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, Ker Kerfoot has a great scoring opportunity. Over to Buzzwell. Buzzwell shoots. It's off a blocker. Saved. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's game, everybody. What a way for the New York Americans to start off Season 2 with a huge statement win over the Quebec Nordiques. They easily take Game 1 in this one. This will this is game one out of a best of six series. The next time these two play will be in New York. Boswell gets a goal, but as you saw there, it was taken away by goalie interference by Matthew Tolchuk. Unfortunate, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles in this one. No post game show, as there's not really a lot to talk about for a post game show here. The New York Americans slaughtered the Quebec. It was not even a contest. That's the end of this one. Watch. It really was. That's the end of this one. We'll be coming out. Oh, you guys can take a look at the three stars of the game here. Philippe Chiel. Or Cheadle. I don't remember his actual name. I can't pronounce it. It's Finnish. He gets one goal, two assists. Brett Hoden, two goals, three hits. And a great shot opportunity right there, beating Allen on the uh, uh, blocker side. And the number one star, Brennan Lemieux, had it. an explosive first period where he scored all three points that he scored in the game, which is the goal and the two assists. He laid down two hits. It was fun while it lasted in this one. We'll be getting ready to do the rest of the week's games between the Atlanta Thrashers and the Hartford Whalers, the Hamilton Tigers versus the Montreal Wanderers, the Kansas City Scouts 
versus the Colorado Rockies, the San Diego Mariners versus the Cal or the Oakland Golden Seals, because now they're the Oakland Golden Seals, and the Seattle Metropolitans versus the Minnesota North Stars. Those will be the rest of the opening games. However, they won't exactly be televised, and they will be put into a highlights compilation for the for the uh, rest of today's games, as you'll call it. It was fun while it lasted here. We hope you guys did enjoy what was watchable from this game. Yes. <laughs> Which was mainly just the New York Americans. We'll catch you guys next time. Until then, goodbye. How do I say?